It's Wild here and today we're going over every must know smoke on CSU Vertigo. What? I'm also giving away an M4A4 Desert Space today as that's what you guys voted on Discord. And remember guys, I do daily giveaways on every video. So if you want a chance at winning, like the video, leave a comment and make sure you're subbed with notifications on so you never miss a video. Winner will be picked tomorrow night on Discord. Here's the winner of the D giveaway from yesterday's vid. Oh. Come on. Juicy D! So yeah, make sure you join the Discord. Link is down below. But let's get into the smokes. Firstly, to smoke sidewalk off from T-spawn, get into this corner and aim exactly where I am in the middle of this yellow beam. Now perform a jump throw and as you can see, anyone trying to hold short won't be able to peek scaffold. Next, to smoke left side at A site, get in this corner by these sandbags and aim slightly above where this corner hits the scaffold and do a jump throw. The smoke will bounce off scaffold and land to block off anyone back on A site. Next, if you want to pair it with a right side smoke, if you crouch at ramp and line up with this dot, then stand up and aim in line with the corner of this beam and the top of the wall and do a regular throw, the smoke will bounce off and right side will be smoked off perfectly. But before we continue with the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is GamerPay. They're currently the official sponsor of NIP. No matter what you sell, they have a 0% selling fee, meaning you get 100% of what you sell something for. As well as having no sales fees, GamerPay also have a new feature known as pre-deal, where you can buy and sell your trade locked items. A lot of people try to do this outside of GamerPay and end up getting scammed. With GamerPay, you can now do these deals in a safe and secure way. Also, to make sure you're getting the best price you can filter by true market price giving you the real value of items unlike other sites that either use steam price or inflate their prices they also have super low fees when depositing and withdrawing funds or as little as zero percent fees if you upgrade the status of your account so yeah if you're looking to sell some old skins and buy some new skins for cs2 make sure to check them out using the link in the description or the pinned comment as it really helps support the channel once again thank you gamerpay for sponsoring the video but let's get back into it now if you want to smoke off headshot get in the corner buy the sandbags and line up with the gap that's in line with this part of the crane and aim exactly where I am. Now do a regular left click throw and the smoke will fly over, bounce and land on a headshot, blocking the sight line of anyone playing it. If you only have one smoke and want to smoke a bit deeper on a site, line up in between these two poles in scaffold and then look up and aim where the top yellow pole goes into the red beam. Now do a left and right click jump throw and a site will be smoked off. However, this is best to do with a headshot smoke, so don't forget to do that. Now to smoke off elevator, line up with the bottom of this ramp and aim in the middle of this part of the brick. Then if you walk forward and jump throw, the smoke will bounce off the beam and land to smoke off anyone in the elevator perfectly. Now, if you want to smoke off heaven door, get in this corner by these sandbags, then turn around and aim slightly to the left of this part of the yellow crane and do a regular throw. If you want to pair this with a heaven smoke, line up with the left of the sandbags and aim at the right corner of this red beam and left click throw. The smoke will bounce twice and then land on heaven, completely blocking off the view of anyone playing there. The smoke off elevator from mid, get into this corner, aim at this part of the beam and run forward and left click throw. The smoke will bounce off the beam and stop anyone holding mid from elevator now from the same spot to smoke off ct get up an extended crosshair and line up with this corner and this corner and perform a regular left click throw or to smoke off b connector get into this corner and aim at the bolt in this beam and do a left click throw anyone holding from here will have to jump down and reposition you can also do this from another position so from b stairs by jumping in this corner and lining up your extended crosshair with the black gap and the bottom of this beam you can then just do a regular left click throw and just like last time b connector will be smoked off if you want to smoke off right side e-box get into this corner at T-spawn and aim at this corner and do a jump throw. This will land perfectly, even stopping any boosted players from seeing you. And for an alternative, from under B stairs, get into this corner and make sure you're crouching and aim slightly to the left of this corner. Then stand back up and do a regular left click throw. By doing this, the smoke will again land that little bit to the right, blocking off anyone boosting to try and see over a regular smoke. If you want to smoke the left side of E-box, wedge yourself here in T-spawn and aim at this part of the vent and do a jump throw. Just like with the right side smokes, there's an alternative where you can get into this corner under stairs and aim at this part of the railing and just perform a regular left click throw and once again CTs will be smoked off. To smoke a bit deeper towards CT, get into this corner on B stairs and aim exactly where I am. Now do a left click throw and as you can see the CTs will be smoked off and this is a really good smoke to use if no one on your team knows any smokes as it can be used to slow down a retake. Now for some CT smokes just like on CSGO, line up with this part of the wall and aim at this part of the ceiling and run forward until you hit this part. Then when you let go of the smoke it will fly out of the gap and bounce down to the bottom of A ramp slowing down an A rush. To smoke off mid from CT spawn, line up with this part of the wall and aim at the middle bottom part of the wooden box that you boost on and do a jump throw. This should make it a lot harder for T's to progress on mid and it's just a handy smoke to know. Now, finally for the last smoke from CT, get into this corner and aim at the middle of this gap. Do a regular left click throw and the smoke will bounce off the sandbags next to white and smoke off any T's trying to get a pick on B site. And that's it. If you want to learn some more smokes, click the video on your screen right now.